Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I don't know what to call this yet. I will figure it out by the time I have to make a title and a thumbnail, but I guess like a, a watercolor and foil and glitter and water slide. I gotta think of like a creative name for it, but I'm not exactly sure so we will figure it out, but it's gonna be super cute and I'm really excited. I'm actually wanting to use my logo colors and maybe even put my logo on it. Um, I can put it on the website once it's done, even though it has my logo on it. I mean, somebody can order it and like support Courtney's Customs. That would be awesome. But I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So I am starting off with a 20 ounce fat tumbler from Courtney's Customs Blanks. I spray painted it white from Rust-Oleum yesterday, maybe two days ago. So it, the paint's not tacky anymore. Um, hopefully it will not come up with the painter's tape, but ooh, fingers crossed. We'll see. I also have my absolute favorite purple glitter in the world. This is Swagger from The Glitter Grind. I made a snow globe tumbler with it yesterday and I think it is just the prettiest purple. I love it. So I'm going to be using Swagger, going to be using Flicker, and then Muted Plum from Pop of Color Paints, and three um, alcohol inks from The Glitter Grind as well. These came in a pack. This is Passion Purple, Pearl, and white. So I have a vision in my brain. I'm going to try to bring it to life. And um, oh, also got these super cheap little sponges from I think it was Walmart. Um, I don't know if it's going to give me the effect that I need because like I said, they are like super cheap little brushes, but they came with like 24 of them, all different shapes and sizes. So I grabbed them. Okay, I am blabbering. So let's just get started. So I want to do half of the tumbler in these alcohol inks. So I am just going to give myself a good straight line to work with. Even though you guys know me, when I do things like this, I always add um, vinyl stripes to make the line look better, which is probably what I'm going to do. But... I still want to try to make it as straight as I can to work with. And this does help being a completely straight tumbler. So here's the half I'm going to be working with. What I want to do is kind of like a watercolor um, method. I, <laughs> I've tried the methods before and I'm not great at them. So I'm hoping I've improved since I've last tried it. I've got just a tad of 91% rubbing alcohol in this cup and a paper towel right here and also a cheap little paint brush. I'm going to start with the darkest one, which is the passion purple. And I am just going to squirt some on my wax paper here. And then I'm going to soak it up with one of my makeup sponges and I'm just going to dab here and there. This is so pigmented. I love the glitter grind, you guys. Okay, so it just looks like a weird blobby mess right now, but bear with me. I'm going to go in with the pearl and do the same thing. And this is so pretty. I'm going to use a different sponge. This is such a beautiful, and I'm thinking I'm just going to put it right on the tumbler. And yes, they are going to mix. That is fine. That's what I want. Kind of blend it all around. The pearl is really more of like a, can I say opal maybe? It's a very shimmery, not super pigmented, but very, very shimmery. All right, now I'm gonna grab another sponge and come in with the white. And it looks just like a blobby weird, like Courtney, what the heck are you doing right now? But I'm telling you, once I work with the um, rubbing alcohol, it's gonna change its appearance completely. I'm just trying to like help it blend before I go in with the rubbing alcohol. I'm 
gonna put this stuff off to the side. Go in with my little paintbrush, and my rubbing alcohol, and make sure I have this handy as well. I'm just dipping the paintbrush into the rubbing alcohol, dabbing off excess, and dabbing. You don't want it to run all over the place. So I am just randomly dabbing, making it a more watercolored look. Trying to control it from running. Could I have done this with a sponge? Probably, I didn't think about it. But this is going well for me right now, so I don't want to switch it up and mess it up. Okay, I got, I got to know when to stop, so I am going to stop. But guys, this pearl alcohol ink that I kind of just made a point to put all over it, it is adding the most beautiful, subtle shimmer. And I think this is just so pretty. I'm going to remove the tape, and of course that paint is going to come right off with it over there. Came off right there. I don't know what is up with Rust-Oleum lately. But I'm about to try Krylon. So some paint came off up there at the top. So pretty. Like I wanted to, oh my gosh, I wanted to add like foils or not really foils. Yeah, foils. Um, and it's so pretty. I don't, I don't know. Yes, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So this is a stunning holographic silver from the glitter grind, the foils from the glitter grind, as well as the foil adhesive. I'm just going to give it a good shake. And I am not going to add much of this at all, just like a very subtle accent. I know I'm going to have to clean this up. I will get to that. But see how, especially on the darker spots, how there's almost like an outline so to speak, I guess is what you can call it. Um, that's where I'm going to focus. Not all of the outline, just very, very subtle here and there. So I'm taking the same paintbrush that I used to splatter all of this around. I just washed it off and I am going to very lightly trace some of those outlines. Very, very subtle. Now I'm going to put this in front of some heat. If you have a heat gun that works for about 15 seconds, um, I'm just going to pop mine in front of my heater. Now I'm just going to take this entire sheet because I don't want to try to find every little tiny <laughs> bit that I put on. So I'm just trying to make it as smooth as I can. Now I'm going to put it back in front of the heat again for about another 10 or 15 seconds and then just peel it off. And it picked up a little bit, but I want to make it a little heavier. I was being too gentle. That's okay, just go through again. That's better. 
So I am just going to touch up this white paint. I do not want to risk ruining it with spray paint or anything like that. I know this isn't going to be like the best option, but if I just try to put glitter over this, it is not going to look very good, especially because I'm going to be using white glitter for half of it. So I'm just trying to clean this up as much as I can. Okay, so that should work. I am actually going to put a coat of epoxy over this because I do not want to get glitter on this and then try to brush it off and ruin this. I, guys, I am so obsessed with this right now. I do not want to ruin it. So once this acrylic paint dries, I'm just going to do one thin layer of epoxy and then we will come back tomorrow to do the glitter. Okay, this under epoxy, guys, is Oh my gosh, it's stunning! I love it so much. So now the next thing to do is to get some more painter's tape. The next thing to do is add the glitter. So I'm going to use this painter's tape to kind of block off this, what we did yesterday. Just like one piece of tape here another one on the other side so now here I'm gonna add the glitter I want to do half of it white and half of it purple so I'm gonna go ahead and mark off my purple spot I don't want to do like exactly half I want to make maybe like a third of it so I think that looks good so I'm gonna do the purple first so I'm gonna come in with muted plum from pop of color paints and I'm going to use this as my adhesive and I think I want to make the bottom of it purple too so let me get this off of there so I'm going to go in this paintbrush is also from pop of color paints and I'm going to use the paint as my adhesive that's something that I have really liked to do here lately And now with the paint still wet, I'm gonna go in with Swagger from the Glitter Grind and cover everything that I just painted purple. Now I'm going to go in with Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint. It's white and I am going to use this as my adhesive to cover all of this. I'm doing that because of the little spots where, um, for one, some of the alcohol ink bled yesterday and where the paint came up with the painter's tape on those areas. So I'm trying to brighten it up. I still might have to do two coats of glitter, but if so, that's okay. I just feel like this will help a little bit. And I'll be going in with Flicker from the Glitter Grind for my white glitter. So now I'm just going to spray seal everything with two times Rust-Oleum Clear, pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups, add two coats of epoxy, and then I will come back to show y'all the next step. Okay, so after a couple coats of epoxy, it's looking really good. It's nice and smooth. So now I'm going to add some vinyl stripes and my logo in a waterside decal right here. So I'm going to start first with the vinyl because I don't want to risk messing up the waterside decal when I'm trying to lay vinyl. So this is mirrored chrome vinyl from my website, CourtneysCustomsCo.com, and I cut this out on my silhouette. I made them 0.1 inches wide by 11 inches tall, which I know obviously is going to be way too long, but it is no problem to trim them down which I will do a better job of here in just a minute. But I didn't want it to be like super wide. I just wanted it to be just like a little bit of an accent right there. So that looks good. Now I'm gonna add one on the other side. And that looks good. So I'm just going to point my scissors at kind of like an angle 
and cut as close to the top of the rim as I can. And then after a coat of epoxy, I can actually come through here and take my Dremel and sand this down really good. But temporarily, I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to slice off down there. So now I'm super, super excited to be adding my logo to this tumbler. I love this tumbler so much. And I printed this on Courtney's Customs Clear Inkjet Water Slide Paper. I have... I think I might have a couple packs left on my website. I am waiting for my restock to get here. And I'm just soaking it in my water over here for about 30 seconds or so until it's ready. And I'm gonna prep the area where I'm gonna put the water slide. I'm just putting some water on it. And you guys know I do print my water slides mirrored because I like to lay them face down and slide the backing off. Um, not everybody does it, but I have just found that it is so, so, so much easier that way. I really struggle trying to do water slides the other way. And you know what I actually forgot? I forgot to add a vinyl stripe right here. So when I am done, and I literally said I didn't want to do water slide first, but I already put it down in the water. So when I am done with the water slide, I'll have to add another piece of vinyl down there. I don't know why that completely slipped my mind. I didn't even cut out enough for it. So after about 30 seconds, my water slide is ready. I'm gonna pull it right out of the water and put it face down. I'm just gonna take my time to make sure I get it centered. Apply some pressure and slide that backing right off. Ah, it looks so cute! I'm gonna go in with my squeegee and get out any air bubbles, water bubbles, wrinkles. Make sure everything is laying nice and flat. And that is so cute. So now I'm just gonna add two coats of epoxy and I will come back to show you guys the finished result. I think this turned out so pretty. I am just loving this. I think I'm gonna make an entire tumbler with this because I love it so much. But I love my logo on there and the glitter and the vinyl. I think this turned out great and I absolutely love it. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative. That was said by Bing Crosby. That is all I have for y'all today. I hope you love this as much as I do, and I've always heard people say to wear your brand. Um, I can't wear my tumblers, but I can take them with me, so I will definitely be making one of these for myself with my logo on there and maybe even like a QR code down here on the bottom so people can scan it and maybe take it to like my YouTube or my website or something. So super cute and a really neat idea for anybody else who wants to make their own logo tumbler as well. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and like always if y'all have any questions please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!